Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. I uh, survived New York City. Next time I go, I will have a vial of Purell in each hand. I came back with some pretty nasty, pretty nasty crud. I think uh, riding subways and then eating street tacos without washing my hands. The good news is, is once I recover, <coughs> I think my immunity will be improved for the next five years. Let's dive into the S&Ps here. So, Pretty solid day to the downside. Notice that we are at these lower Bollinger Bands. However, at the same time, we do have a squeeze taking place. Typically, when you come down to these lower levels, you can expect a bounce, but if a squeeze does trigger, then what it does is it actually changes the direction of the Bollinger Bands. You can see right here, we came down, we didn't bounce because we fired, and then boom. So I think uh, at best we could get a move back to the snow line here at 29.57. This would be an area to short in anticipation of this triggering to the downside. Now, the S&Ps are actually holding up pretty good compared to other markets. If we look at the Russell here, it is tanking. Now, it does have bigger picture squeezes like on the weekly and the monthly charts, not so much on the daily, but this is leading the markets lower. Okay, We did fill, almost fill an important gap here. And then from here, another one that I like is transports, IYT, same thing here. These things are basically just breaking down. So I do see this as a sign of more weakness to come and that any rallies at this point are a shorting opportunity. Now, doesn't mean that it's a shorting opportunity on any stock that's out there, because there are some stocks that are, have already been taken out to task. So Netflix at this point, uh, I think we've seen the downside of Netflix. Not that I'm a buyer of Netflix here, but I mean, you know, it wasn't that long ago when it was a trading at 380 bucks. So now it's just, it's got to kind of digest its wounds. Uh, at this point, I actually think it's a good candidate for iron condors. I think we're just going to be sitting here digesting digesting wounds for quite a bit. And then uh, from there, there are some, you know, a lot of the high flyers here that have been destroyed. I think there's some opportunities uh, to kind of catch some pops on these as well. You know, the fundamentals of the company haven't changed. It's just that the market appetite for risk has changed. Um, and I don't see that shifting anytime soon, but at some point, uh, you do get those kind of dead cap bounces. And so what I'd look for there is a break above the high of the low bar. So right now the low bar is right here. The high is right there. You can see we tested it today. We couldn't get through. If we can close above that, uh, that might be worth a trade back up to this declining uh, midpoint here on the Bollinger Bands. All right? So that's what we got going there. Um, in terms of some interesting activities coming up, all right, one thing we have coming up here in the very near future in November in Las Vegas, I'm super excited about this, is we're just going to do a one-day live trading workshop at the front end of the Traders Expo. So uh, for those of you that are planning on going to the Traders Expo or for those of you that have thought of doing a live event with us, uh, this is a real easy way to do it. Our, normally our three-day mentorships uh, that we do, and we've been doing those once a year in Austin, are $5,000. But we wanted to do a one-day event where it's more like, hey, if you want to just kind of hang out, get to know us, spend some time live trading, afterwards go play some craps, uh, just making a kind of a, a lower-priced one-day event where we can just spend some time face-to-face, -face, and the cost of the event really is just meant to pay for the room, all right? We're going to do this at the Waldorf Astoria in Las Vegas. That used to be the Mandarin Oriental, which is my favorite place to stay in Las Vegas, okay? So why? Because there's no smoke, there's no casino, and um, it's just like an oasis in the middle of Las Vegas. So if you've ever been to Las Vegas for three or four days, you may have noticed it can absolutely suck the life out of you. So I like to stay here and then just go across the street and I can go play craps. So um, uh, let me find, okay, so this is gonna be on Wednesday, November 6th, and let's get you some more info on here. All right, so the early bird pricing on this, if you just, uh, when you go to this page, simplertrading.com forward slash Vegas, um, the early bird pricing on this is still in effect. It's $697. We limit this to 50 people, all right? We've got, um, I think at this point, we're two thirds sold out. So we've got a few open spots left. The whole point of this is that it's to keep it small, uh, keep it a small group so we can all kind of hang out and get to know each other. I personally do not like doing large groups. Um, you do not get that one-on-one uh, -on -one time. So for something like this, I think it's a lot, I, I like it a lot better. Danielle will be there, Henry will be there, Carolyn will be there, and a few other folks. So the idea with something like this is that you get one day, you're with a group of people, and what I found is that 
um, when you're with a group of people in an environment like this, you're more conscious about what you're doing, and you make these connections in terms of your own trading a lot faster. You know, the idea is like, you know, you may think about something off and on in your busy life over the course of six months and come to some interesting conclusions, but in a compressed 24-hour period like this, you'll come to those much faster. And you can also make lifelong friends and trading buddies. And one of the best things about something like this is people walk away and they have trading buddies that actually understand the stuff that they're going through. And they can be brutally honest with each other and say, hey, why are you taking this trade? You know, what are you doing? And that's the kind of stuff that's kind of nice. And then personally, it's always fun just to meet people in person. So it's kind of like a, you know, it's, it's just a way to kind of get out of your environment, you know, have some fun. We do some live trading together. And um, and then afterwards, you know, we just kind of hang out and stuff like that. It's uh, it's uh, and if you haven't been to the Waldorf Astoria, which used to be the Mandarin Oriental, it's an amazing place and it's a lot of fun. So that's what we got. SimplerTrading.com forward slash Vegas, and be fun to hang out with you guys there. All right, have a good night, and we'll see you at the next update.